Data Processing in Research Work. The data processing defined is it is a series of steps that explains the unorganized and the haphazard meaningless data into the organized and meaningful data which can which can understand easily. After a collection of data in the field, you have to find out the similarities and differences to make some clear concepts and reflections from data. You have to keep the whole process of data analysis and if a reviewer wants to review your data, you will be accountable for that data or information. Now there are six steps in data processing. Number one is data collection. There are a number of sources for data collection such as surveys in the field, hospital records, questionnaires, and laboratory experimental results. The sources of data should be authentic and trustworthy. Like in laboratory work, the protocol must be validated and instrument should be calibrated to give highest accuracy. Second step is data storage. Laptop or personal computers are the devices for storing data nowadays. Format of data inserting is important to analyze it further easily. Different computer softwares are available for a storage of data which may be in text or table or in both formats. SPSS, SAS or Microsoft Excel softwares are in use nowadays for storing data. This is, this is an example of collection and storage of data, which is a raw data. The given table contains data of nine cases. It may increase above 100 sample numbers. Uh, the uh, gender, sample number, and age with some biochemical parameters, uh, the, that data is stored here. The whole information of each sample is stored in same table or sheet. is data storing. Data storing means the pre-processing data. At this stage, the raw data is cleaned up and organized for the next stage. During preparation of raw data, the data is thoroughly checked for errors, incomplete or incorrect data entries, so that a high quality with highest accuracy data may be acquired without any outlier. Here you can see some data which is not analyzed. Here these three are given. So we have to delete these uh, to get the high quality data. Here also outliers are present and we have to also delete those. Now we have an organized and accurate data to process it further. Depending upon the type of study, divide or break the data into smaller parts or groups or categories and then many comparisons can be made for similarities and dissimilarities. The raw data which is split into two groups. One is female and other one is males. The whole raw data for females is separated and for males is also separated. Then the data will be analyzed in between two groups. Now the fifth, is, fifth step of data processing is data output. The researcher will make the data in a meaningful format such as tables, graphs, charts, etc that a person from other field can also understand in, a, in no time. Sixth step of data processing is, is the last step and it is the data presentation which you can understand in next slide. 
Now here the previously shown raw data is processed into certain groups such as patients and controls, females and males and so on. Here the serum calcium concentration is analyzed in all those groups. So the mean concentration of serum calcium and its standard deviation is given and compared for the level of significance with p-value which is less than 0 0.05 shown as a star. In this table, some risk factors of a disease are presented. Results are shown in odds ratio. A star will show the significant risk factors for the disease. Now the raw data has become a meaningful data. The graph shows uh, again the risk factors in which only two major risk factors are shown with the stars, smoking and tea consumers. So the raw data is not, under, is not understood by anyone but after processing it we can easily understand the whole data of the research.